I'm a day late, but I have my next review for the next section of what we forgot to bury. <laughs> this time we read chapters 27 through 42, so we're officially three-fourths, if not more, page count-wise through the book. I think since I tried to divide it up based on number of chapters to read, that it might be a little over three-fourths of the way. But in any case, that's where we're at. We just finished chapter 42. I didn't post this on Saturday like I normally do because I'm super behind <laughs> on my reading of this book. A, because my interest level is back and forth if I want to keep reading it. And B, because I went back to working in the office after having been on furlough for a month and a half. So it's kind of thrown off my reading schedule and what I normally do for that. But work is good and I made it through the book eventually. So... We got there. Um, so, let's talk about this section a little bit. I would say we could discuss the questions that I asked, but they were pretty much things like, how do you think the issues with uh, Charlotte and Elle's dad really went down? And I asked about relationship or something too so just kind of almost yes or no questions mostly because as I said I hadn't really finished the section when I was doing it but I think a lot of my reading group is behind too because no one's really responding other than one person which is fine too because we all read at our own pieces and sometimes life gets in the way especially since we've got things like Black Lives Matter going on and stuff right now obviously if people have thing other things on their mind than this book I'm fine with it, and I totally understand. So, it is what it is. <laughs> um, but my thoughts on this, now that we're like three-fourths of the way through, I'm still kind of frustrated with this. This definitely has had some more interesting moments that have engaged me more in this section. But I'm just so tired of stuff not happening, of them hinting at the secrets and not just finding out secrets. I'm ready for stuff to hit the fan. And if stuff does not hit the fan in the last fourth of the book, I will be very disappointed. Because I just, I'm sick of them like dancing around the issues and they were even a chapter for Elle and a chapter for Charlotte where it seemed like they were going to discover things of the other person or finally reveal their part in things with the other person and it just died both times and I'm so frustrated because uh, like for Els, she'd gotten into a fight at school and started beating up on Charlotte because she was just upset and brought up Charlotte falling down the stairs and Charlotte was like what are you talking about how do you know about this kind of a thing and I thought oh we're finally gonna you know get something happening between them and Elle's gonna reveal what her dad's relationship to all this is and we'll, we'll get something and then we didn't Elle just kind of made excuses oh I'd read about it on reddit and things and then nothing still happened and then Charlotte and Noah decided that they were going to allow Elle to live with them because she's pregnant, she's in the foster system, all of that. She's about to be kicked out of the foster system and won't have a place, and Charlotte's worried about living home alone and things like that. So they, like, talked it over and were like, Elle might be a good companion for you during all this and give her a good place to try to make her life straighten out and whatever. And Charlotte ends up going through Elle's suitcase because... Elle had gotten expelled because of the fight at school, and so there were some letters that Charlotte wanted to make sure they actually went over from the school, and in it she finds um, her credit cards and things that were stolen, and I'm like, oh good, finally stuff's going to happen. I don't know how Elle has these things, because that's not a thing, but yay, stuff might actually happen. And then no, Charlotte's like, oh, I can't let her know that I know about this and just puts the stuff back basically. And I was like, oh, when are we going to just have stuff hit the fan? And also, based on the fact that Elle has those, I'm wondering if there's going to be some of that like unreliable narrative trope going on, which I'm not really fond of and I don't really appreciate this late in the story, but it's like... Probably when Elle's been talking to Justin, she somehow got those from him because he's probably the one who robbed Charlotte. And I, I'm just... 
<sighs> I wish that we just got the details, you know, of something instead of everything just being a secret and half truths and half hidden and half revealed. They've even both had chapters where they're like reflecting on the past and then in the past. It's like we get up to this point where it's actually going to reveal something and then they come back to reality and I'm like, mm. I'm just, I'm so tired of just having secrets. I get that that's sort of the point of a suspense thriller, but we're three-fourths of the way through at this point. Couldn't we have revealed something in this story by now? I guess we've had kind of reveals because we know that Charlotte did miscarry in some form back in the past, and that's somehow related to Elle's dad going to prison, but I just, I wish there were more. And so if stuff doesn't happen and they just find a way to be happy-go-lucky friends by the end of this book without revealing things, I'm going to be very disappointed in this book. But I think since they have both kind of revealed things to each other about their past at this point, and especially in chapter 41 where a strange woman came to the house, which I think was probably Lauren based on context, that Elle had to like deal with because she was like, oh, it's probably a neighbor needing to borrow something, and then she just acts weird the whole chapter. I'm hoping that things are finally going to start happening, especially with that chapter, because it seems like things just have to start getting revealed at some point. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I do think that potentially um, I will get some good reveals because the chapter where Elle was dealing with this p possible neighbor, probably Lauren character, that had a lot of good intrigue and stuff to it. And if the rest of the book had been written more in that style where you can kind of tell some things off based on the context you as the reader know, and then the character starts figuring out based on context that things are weird, that I like. And I wish the rest of the book had more of that and less of the, we're just going to dance around some secrets for the whole book and going to act like we care about each other for no truly discernible reason on either end, I feel like. Elle's I kind of get because she is trying to reveal truth about her dad, but Charlotte's interest in Elle has made no sense to me throughout this whole book, other than, like, as pity. And that's a thing, but I just, I don't feel like pity is usually as persistent in the way that Charlotte's has been. And anyway, so I hope that the last bit of this book is really good. I'm curious to see what happens with it, and we'll go from there. But yeah, that's where I'm at with this. Uh, we have uh, decided on our next book, too. Um, it's... And Suddenly She Disappeared, or something like that for the title, so I think it's going to be another suspense, and I just hope it's better than this one. But we won't be starting it till July 1st, so either way we'll still have a little bit of a break before going into it, and that'll hopefully help me, too, because I'm interested in things beyond suspense and thrillers right now, so that the book club just wants to read them is fine, but I definitely want to make sure I have time to read other things too, and having a bit of a break between book club books will definitely give me that. But anyways, that's all I've got for now, and I will talk to you hopefully on Saturday with the final fourth of this book, and this is the Uma Harper signing out.